The sentient shells, I believe, it is campfire. Can we see your candle? Campfire. Was Amelie right? She was. Wow. You may remember them as finalists on America's Got Talent, and now they are bringing their illusions and magic to a live, interactive, virtual audience. Welcome, Tommy and Amelie. You remember them as the clairvoyants. Hi. Hello. Hello. Thank you so much for having us. Hi, Lisa. Oh, my gosh. I. Well, I mean, I used to live in Vegas, so I love going to see these illusionists and magic. And it's so fascinating how you guys do this. My question is, is how did you learn how to do it? <laughs> so it all started around 10 years ago when Amelie and I met for the first time. And I mean, we figured out that we have a special connection and we want to create a show and we want to go out there and show it to people all over the world. Yeah, and since then we're working on that. We're performing. We were on America's Got Talent. We were able to tour around the US and the world. And now, uh, since everyone is still at home, we'll say, it. OK, let's put our show online and make it a virtual experience. It's a, yeah, so we're going to talk about the show itself in a second because I think that's a really great way for you guys to reach your audience. But, but I, Amelie, for you, I mean, when you were a little girl, did you grow up saying, I want to be an illusionist? I mean, did, is that something you always wanted to do? How did, how did you get into it? I always kind of knew that I wanted to be on stage. I was dancing since I was a child, since I was five years old, and I did acting and all that. And I loved magic always. I loved mind reading. And I was always the one sitting in the audience and, and just watching and being fascinated. And I never wanted to know how things work. That's the weird thing about it. But I think that gives me a nice view on this whole thing. And when I met Tommy, the whole, like, like my whole world changed and we figured out, okay, there is so much we can do together. And so I had to know the secrets and I had to learn them and I had to even invent some. And yeah, now I'm a magician, illusionist. Do you go to like, I mean, do you, Tommy, for either of you, do you go to magic school? I mean, how do you learn <laughs> these? I don't understand how you guys learn these things. So when I was young, I learned a lot of magic, uh, card tricks, whatever, but it was a different level when Amelie and I met because it was more like about phenomenons. Everybody knows a little bit about it, but we took it on another stage and on another level and brought it on a big stage. And I have to be honest, uh, sometimes magic is also a kind of how should I say, a problem solver for me. For example, um, English is not my main language. My main language is German. So sometimes I mix up words. For example, this is a fork, right, Lisa? It's a spoon. It's a spoon. It, you see, fork, spoon, I'm a little bit confused, but with magic, it's not a problem at all. And here it is. You guys, fork. stop it. <laughs> Too. That is so perfect. Wait, okay. Thank so, you. I mean, I, yes. What you did on America's Got Talent, I mean, I, I watched a bunch of your clips from America's Got Talent, and it blows my mind what you can do in terms of mind reading. And I'm wondering, when you were going, if you ever had a regular job, was your boss terrified of what you, if you knew how to read their mind or if you went on a date with somebody, were they terrified that you were reading their mind? Well, we started together. So we were terrified from each other at the beginning <laughs> until it got normal. No, but we tried to keep things on stage and give a hundred percent there. And in private, we tried to be as normal as possible. Right. Okay. For example, when I go grocery shopping, as soon as I come home, I just have to open the door. She can already tell me what I forgot. <laughs> that's also called female intuition. Oh, right? that's right. Yes, I understand that completely. Okay, so let's talk about your virtual show because like I said from the beginning, I think this is a great way for you to reach your audience. And you guys have already done some of this. The new show is coming April 18. And here you are with some people that were interacting <laughs> live with you. And that's the whole point, yes. right? I mean, exactly. that's the fun thing. It's different than just watching TV because we are 
involving the people into the show, uh, they will experience the magic and the mind reading in their minds and heads. And I think that's the big difference for us as well. And there's the yeah. whole family sometimes watching the show with the kids, with, with grandma, with the dogs, with cats. So we have like, uh, everybody's kind of watching and can watch the show. And I think it's even more fascinating sometimes because people are at home on the couch and still we are able to read their minds. So it's like distance mind reading. Right. But you know what, Fascinating. Lisa? Yes, tell me. Should we try to read your mind? Okay, so this, I knew this was coming and I have been terrified of it, but okay. <laughs> Okay, don't oh, look be at terrified. You the music too. I love. <laughs> yes, some mysterious music. Lisa, we try to do distance mind reading with you today, and therefore I brought this. You know that it's a deck of playing cards inside. Yes. yes. And um, we try to read your mind. I put a prediction in there. So it will be in full view the entire time. And Lisa, and everybody who's watching the show, we haven't set anything up, right? No, absolutely not. Promise. Perfect. <laughs> because now what I need from you is a playing card. And you can decide, do you want to have a red or a black card? What would you like? Am I, say it, red. I'd like red. Just say it, red. Red. Uh, red, perfect. Do you want the diamonds or the hearts? Totally up to you. Diamonds. Diamonds, nice. Do you want the ace, the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, check, queen, king? Queen. Totally up to you. Queen. The queen. queen of diamonds. Are you sure or do you want to change your mind? Let's change my mind. Let's do king of diamonds. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay. I knew that was coming. Really? <laughs> yeah. the, the king of diamonds. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Perfect. I have, I have nothing in my hands. Can I, no. can I take the box for a second, Amelie? The king of diamonds. She said. The box is empty. Thank you, the box. Nothing yeah. in there. Uh, let's have a little look. You see, that's the back of the deck. You yeah. decided on the color, you decided uh, what it was, and at the end you said the king of diamonds. Yes. But the interesting thing is, I don't know if you can see it, but there is only one card in the entire deck turned around. And that's not any card. <laughs> this is here, the king of diamonds. But Lisa, wait for it. Maybe you think sometime uh, at, with, I don't know, with trickery, I was able to turn your king of diamonds around. Yeah. But Amelie was that sure that you will pick the king of diamonds. We have to be honest that <gasps> this is actually the only card inside the entire deck. And that was your card, the king of diamonds. Oh my God. You guys are amazing. <laughs> Holy cow. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. you. Watch the Thank you so much. Their live show virtual. Is it anybody can go, right? And everybody can watch. Absolutely. Anybody. The whole family can watch. You just pay one ticket for the whole, for the full household. Just even the dog. Even the dog, <laughs> the, the dog. cat. All right. Everybody, just go to clairvoyance, deckclairvoyance.com and get your ticket and it will be a fun show for the whole family. It has been a pleasure to meet you both. Congratulations on all your Thank success. You. Have fun at your show. Thank Have you so much, Lisa. Day. Thanks for having us. And see you online.